Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Unraveling: Second federal judge deals Mueller a devastating blow. Special counsel Robert Mueller is having a really bad week. Not only has Mueller been raked over the coals by a federal judge overseeing the Manafort case, but now a Trump-appointed federal judge has denied Mueller's request to buy more time for his flimsy case against 13 Russian nationals. From Politico. A federal judge has rejected special counsel Robert Mueller's request to delay the first court hearing in a criminal case charging three Russian companies and 13 Russian citizens with using social media and other means to foment strife among Americans in advance of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. In a brief order Saturday evening, U.S. District Court Judge Dabney Friedrich offered no explanation for her decision to deny a request prosecutors made Friday to put off the scheduled Wednesday arraignment for Concord Management and Consulting one of the three firms charged in the case. The 13 people charged in the high-profile indictment in February are considered unlikely to ever appear in a U.S. court. The three businesses accused of facilitating the alleged Russian troll farm operation, the Internet Research Agency, Concord Management, and Concord Catering, were also expected to simply ignore the American criminal proceedings. Last month, however, a pair of Washington area lawyers suddenly surfaced in the case notifying the court that they represent Concord management. Politico reported at the time that the move appeared to be a bid to force Mueller's team to turn over relevant evidence to the Russian firm and perhaps even to bait prosecutors into an embarrassing dismissal in order to avoid disclosing sensitive information. On Friday, Mueller's prosecutors disclosed that Concord's attorneys, Eric Dublier and Kate Sikoli, had made a slew of discovery requests demanding non-public details about the case and the investigation. Prosecutors also asked a judge to postpone the formal arraignment of Concord management set for next week. The prosecution team sought the delay on the grounds that it's unclear whether Concord management formally accepted the court summons related to the case. Mueller's prosecutors also revealed that they tried to deliver the summonses for Concord and IRA through the Russian government, without success. The U.S. government has attempted service of the summonses by delivering copies of them to the Office of the Prosecutor General of Russia to be delivered to the defendants, prosecutors wrote. That office, however, declined to accept the summonses. The government has submitted service requests to the Russian government pursuant to a mutual legal assistance treaty. To the government's knowledge, no further steps have been taken within Russia to effectuate service. Mueller's team sent a copy of the formal summons to Dublier and Sikoli and asked them to accept it on behalf of Concord Management. But Dublier wrote back on Monday saying that the government's attempt to serve the summons was defective under court rules. He did not elaborate. The three companies named in the indictment are all reported to be controlled by a Russian businessman known as Russian President Vladimir Putin's chef, Yevgeny Pragoshin. He's also one of the 13 individuals criminally charged in the case. In their request on Friday to put off the arraignment, Prosecutors included the extensive demands for information that the lawyers for Concord Management have set forth since they stepped forward last month. Until the court has an opportunity to determine if Concord was properly served, it would be inadvisable to conduct an initial appearance and arraignment at which important rights will be communicated and a plea entertained, attorneys Jeannie Ree, Rush Atkinson and Ryan Dickey wrote. That is especially true in the context of this case, which involves a foreign corporate defendant, controlled by another, individual foreign defendant that has already demanded production of sensitive intelligence gathering, national security, and foreign affairs information. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.